Hello and welcome to 5 minutes about Pulsar. My name is Yabing Man. I'm on the streaming team at DataStax. Today I'm going to be showing you schemas working with Avril. If you want to follow along and you don't have a deployment of Pulsar ready to go, you can go to astra.datastacks.com slash register streaming and get a free Pulsar instance up and running. If you have any questions about this video and you can email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com that will reach the team at Datastacks. We'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Like Kafka, Pulsar also has a schema registry that allows messages to be published or consumed following a certain format, aka message schema. Better than Kafka though, the schema registry in Pulsar is built in which means it shares the same set of server hosts of the Pulsar cluster. This saves the operational overhead and increases the high availability of schema management in Pulsar. The schema support in Pulsar is straightforward. It supports various types, both primitive and complex, schema version evolution and compatibility check. The example on the right side shows a very simple message schema that uses a string as the message payload type. The more complex type includes Apache Avro, protobuf, and key value. The diagram of this page illustrates a much simplified scenario for IoT sensor data collection for an oil and gas drilling site. One drilling site has multiple stations and one station has several types of sensors to collect data continuously. We want to use Pulsar as the underlying messaging and streaming platform for this sensor data. Each Pulsar message represents one single recording of a particular sensor at a specific station. The first question is, how do we model the message schema? Assuming the business wants to do data analysis based on the sites and stations. Based on this requirement, one possible way to design the message schema is to have the combination of site ID and station ID as the message key and the actual sensor reading as the message payload. Apache Avro is a good way to define the schema further. Each Avro schema definition has an associated name and a list of data fields with the associated types. For example, the Avro schema for the message key is named IoT sensor key and it has two fields. Site ID and Station ID, both are of integer type. Since we want to have schemas for both the Pulsar message key and the Pulsar message payload, we need to use the key value complex type. But please make sure to use the separated as the key value encoding type. Pulsar has an Avro schema class. The easiest way to construct an Avro schema object is from a Java Pojo class that represents the actual object we want to model. For our simple example, we need two Java Pojos, one for IoT sensor key and one for IoT sensor value. Luckily, the Apache Avro project has a tool that can automatically generate the Java Pojos from the Apache Avro definition file. The examples of how to do so is included in this page. There are also some other concepts like a generic record, auto-consume, auto-produce, etc. in Pulsar that can help you to simplify Avro schema processing. This is an example of the Pulsar producer that publishes the IoT sensor data that is, follows the message schema design as we've seen in the previous slide. This is an example of a Pulsar consumer that consumes the IoT sensor data that follows our message schema design. Please note that we use a generic record and auto-consume here to simplify the message processing. This is an example of the consumer output to display the received messages. Please note that the, all the components of a received message are properly displayed, which includes message keys, message properties, and the message payload. The GitHub code repository for this example is also included in this page. I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please click the like button. That will make it easier for other people to find this video and grow the Pulsar community. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment below or email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. That will go to the Pulsar team here at Datastacks.